Attic Greek is the Greek dialect of the ancient city-state of Athens. Of the ancient dialects, it is the most similar to later Greek and is the standard form of the language that is studied in ancient Greek language courses. Attic Greek is sometimes included in the Ionic dialect. Together, Attic and Ionic are the primary influences on modern Greek. <inaudible> Origin and range Greek is the primary member of the Hellenic branch of the Indo-European language family. In ancient times, Greek had already come to exist in several dialects, one of which was Attic. The earliest attestations of Greek, dating from the 16th to 11th centuries BC, are written in Linear B, an archaic writing system used by the Mycenaean Greeks in writing their language. The distinction between Eastern and Western Greek is believed to have arisen by Mycenaean times or before. Mycenaean Greek represents an early form of Eastern Greek, the group to which Attic also belongs. Later Greek literature wrote about three main dialects, Aeolic, Doric, and Ionic. Attic was part of the Ionic dialect group. Old Attic is used in reference to the dialect of Thucydides 460-400 BC and the dramatists of 5th century Athens whereas, New Attic is used for the language of later writers following conventionally the accession in 285 BC of Greek-speaking Ptolemy II to the throne of the Kingdom of Egypt. Ruling from Alexandria, Ptolemy launched the Alexandrian period, during which the city of Alexandria and its expatriate Greek medium scholars flourished. The original range of the spoken Attic dialect included Attica and a number of the central Cyclades islands. The closely related Ionic was also spoken along the western and northwestern coasts of Asia Minor in modern Turkey, in Chalcidus, Thrace, Euboea, and in some colonies of Magna Graecia. Eventually, the texts of literary Attic were widely studied far beyond their homeland, first in the classical civilizations of the Mediterranean, including in ancient Rome and the larger Hellenistic world, and later in the Muslim world, Europe, and other parts of the world touched by those civilizations. <laughs> <laughs> literature The earliest Greek literature, which is attributed to Homer and is dated to the 8th or 7th centuries BC, is written in Old Ionic rather than Attic. Athens and its dialect remained relatively obscure until the establishment of its democracy following the reforms of Solon in the 6th century BC, so began the classical period, one of great Athenian influence both in Greece and throughout the Mediterranean. The first extensive works of literature in Attic are the plays of the dramatists Aeschylus, Sophocles, Euripides and Aristophanes dating from the 5th century BC. The military exploits of the Athenians led to some universally read and admired history, as found in the works of Thucydides and Xenophon. Slightly less known because they are more technical and legal are the orations by Antiphon, Demosthenes, Lysias, Isocrates, and many others. The Attic Greek of the philosophers Plato (427–347 BC) and his student Aristotle (384–322 BC) dates to the period of transition between classical Attic and Koine. Students who learn ancient Greek usually begin with the Attic dialect and continue, depending upon their interests, to the later Koine of the New Testament and other early Christian writings, to the earlier Homeric Greek of Homer and Hesiod, or to the contemporaneous Ionic Greek of Herodotus and Hippocrates. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet Attic Greek, like other dialects, was originally written in a local variant of the Greek alphabet. According to the classification of archaic Greek alphabets, which was introduced by Adolf Kirchhoff, the Old Attic system belongs to the Eastern or Blue type, as it uses the letters psi and chi with their classical values, ps, and k, unlike Western or Red alphabets, which used chi for per kilosecond, and expressed k, with psi. In other respects, Old Attic shares many features with the neighboring Euboean alphabet, which is Western. In Kirchhoff's classification, like the latter, it used an L-shaped variant of lambda and an S-shaped variant of sigma. It lacked the consonant symbols xi xi for per kilosecond and psi psi for ps, expressing these sound combinations with kis and phis respectively. Moreover, like most other mainland Greek dialects, Attic did not yet use omega omega and eta eta for the long vowels and 
Instead, it expressed the vowel phonemes o, o, with the letter omicron, which corresponds with classical omicron o omega, and e, e, with the letter epsilon, which corresponds with epsilon a and eta in later classical orthography. Moreover, the letter eta was used as heta, with the consonantal value of h rather than the vocalic value of. In the 5th century, Athenian writing gradually switched from this local system to the more widely used Ionic alphabet, native to the eastern Aegean islands and Asia Minor. By the late 5th century, the concurrent use of elements of the Ionic system with the traditional local alphabet had become common in private writing, and in 403 BC, it was decreed that public writing would switch to the new Ionic orthography, as part of the reform following the Thirty Tyrants. This new system, also called the Eucleidian, Alphabet, after the name of the Archon Eucleides, who oversaw the decision, was to become the classical Greek alphabet throughout the Greek-speaking world. The classical works of Attic literature were subsequently handed down to posterity in the new Ionic spelling, and it is the classical orthography in which they are read today. Phonology Vowels Longa Proto Greek longa Attic long e, but after e, i, r. Ionic e in all positions. Doric and aeolica in all positions. Proto Greek and Doric mater Attic meter. Mother. Attic cora Ionic chore. Place. Country. However, Proto Greek a Attic e after w, digamma, deleted by the classical period. Proto Greek Korwa early Attic Ionic asterisk Korwa Attic Kor Ionic Kor Topic Shorta Proto Greek A Attic E Doric A remains Doric Artemis Attic Artemis Topic Sonorant clusters Compensatory lengthening of vowel before cluster of sonorant R, L, N, M, W, sometimes Y and S, after deletion of S. Aeolic, compensatory lengthening of sonorant. Pi VSR or VRs Attic Ionic Doric VVR. VSR or VRs Aeolic VRR. Proto Indo European asterisk S me Athematic verb Attic Ionic Emi equals I me Aeolic Emi. I am. Topic Upsilon. Proto Greek and other dialects U English food became Attic Y, pronounced as German U, French U, and represented by Y in Latin transliteration of Greek names. Boeotian Corios Attic Kyrios, Lord. In the diphthongs E U and O, Upsilon continued to be pronounced U. Topic. Contraction Attic contracts more than Ionic does A plus E long A. Nika E Nika. Conquer thou. E plus E E written A, spurious diphthong. Pi asterisk tray S proto Greek trees Attic trace equals trays. 3. E plus O O written O, spurious diphthong. Early asterisk genes O S Ionic geneos Attic genus. Of a kind. Genitive singular, Latin generis, with R from rhoticism. Topic. Vowel shortening Attic E from E grade of oblaut or Proto Greek A is sometimes shortened to E when it is followed by a short vowel, with lengthening of the short vowel, quantitative metathesis, EO EO. When it is followed by a long vowel, EO EO. When it is followed by U and S, use EUS, Osthoff's law, Basileos Basileos, of a king, genitive singular, Basilian Basilian, genitive plural, Basilici Basilici, dative plural. Topic. Hypheresis. Attic deletes one of two vowels in a row, called hypheresis. Hypheresis. Homeric bow though OS Attic boethos. Running to a cry. Helper in battle. Topic. Consonants. Topic. Palatalization. 
Pi asterisk Kentucky or asterisk chy proto Greek ts palatalization attic tt ionic and coin ss proto Greek asterisk glock ya attic glotta ionic glossa tongue sometimes proto Greek asterisk tie and asterisk tw attic tt ionic and coin ss pi asterisk quetwars attic teters ionic tessers four Latin quatuor proto Greek and Doric T before I or Y attic ionic S palatalization. Doric T the NTI attic tithesi. Topic tithesi he places compensatory lengthening of EE. Spurious diphthong A. Topic shortening of SS. Early Attic Ionic SS Classical Attic S. Pi asterisk medios Homeric mesos palatalization Attic mesos middle. Topic <laughs> loss of W. Proto Greek W digamma was lost in Attic before historical times. Proto Greek Korwa Attic core girl. Topic. Retention of H. Attic retained Proto-Greek H from debuccalization of Proto-Indo-European initial S or Y, but some other dialects lost it. Silosis, stripping, deaspiration. Proto-Indo-European asterisk Cstames Attic histamine, Cretan istamen, we stand. Topic: movable N. Attic ionic places an n movable new at the end of some words that would ordinarily end in a vowel if the next word starts with a vowel to prevent hiatus two vowels in a row pass an elegan they spoke to everyone versus posse leguzi posse n date of plural of all leguzi n they speak third person plural present indicative active elege n he was speaking Third person singular, imperfect indicative active Tithizi n. He places. Makes. Third person singular, present indicative active, athematic verb Morphology Attic tends to replace the ter doer of suffix with tes, dicastes for dicaster, judge. The Attic adjectival ending eios and corresponding noun ending, both having two syllables with the diphthong a, stand in place of ios, with three syllables. In other dialects, politeia, Cretan politeia, constitution, both from politeia whose w is dropped. Topic: <laughs> Grammar. Attic Greek grammar is to a large extent ancient Greek grammar or at least when the latter topic is presented it is with the peculiarities of the Attic dialect. This section mentions only some of the Attic peculiarities. Topic. Number In addition to singular and plural numbers, Attic Greek had the dual number. This was used to refer to two of something and was present as an inflection in nouns, adjectives, pronouns and verbs any categories inflected for number. Attic Greek was the last dialect to retain it from older forms of Greek, and the dual number had died out by the end of the 5th century BC. <laughs> Declension With regard to declension, the stem is the part of the declined word to which case endings are suffixed. In the alpha or first declension feminines, the stem ends in long a, which os parallel to the Latin first declension. In Attic Ionic the stem vowel has changed to e in the singular, except in Attic only after e, i or r. For example, the respective nominative, genitive, dative and accusative singular forms are gnome, gnomes, gnome i, gnomen, opinion. But thea, theus, thea, i, theon, goddess. The plural is the same in both cases, nomai and the, but other sound changes were more important in its formation. For example, original as in the nominative plural was replaced by the diphthong i, which did not change from a to e. 
In the few a stem masculines, the genitive singular follows the second declension, stratiotes, stratioto, stratiote, etc. In the omicron or second declension, mainly masculines but with some feminines, the stem ends in o or e, which is composed in turn of a root plus the thematic vowel, an o or e in Indo-European oblaut series parallel to similar formations of the verb. It is the equivalent of the Latin second declension. The alternation of Greek os and Latin us in the nominative singular is familiar to readers of Greek and Latin. In Attic Greek, an original genitive singular ending asterisk osio after losing the s like in the other dialects lengthens the stem o to the spurious diphthong o see above under phonology, vowels, logos, the word, logao from asterisk logosio, of the word. The dative plural of Attic Ionic had oisi, which appears in early Attic but later simplifies to ois, anthropoi, to or for the men. Topic. Classical Attic Classical Attic may refer either to the varieties of Attic Greek spoken and written in Greek majuscule in the 5th and 4th centuries BC classical era Attic or to the Hellenistic and Roman era standardized Attic Greek, mainly on the language of Attic orators and written in Greek uncial good Attic and vehement rival of Vulgar or Koine Greek. Varieties <inaudible> <inaudible> The vernacular and poetic dialect of Aristophanes. The dialect of Thucydides mixed Old Attic with neologisms. The dialect and the orthography of Old Attic inscriptions in Attic alphabet before 403 BC. The Thucydidean orthography is similar. The conventionalized and poetic dialect of the Attic tragic poets, mixed with epic and Ionic Greek and used in the episodes, in the choral odes, conventional Doric is used. Formal Attic of Attic orators, Plato, Xenophon and Aristotle, imitated by the Atticists or Neo-Attic writers, and considered to be good or standard Attic. See also Attic numerals Notes References Buck, Carl Darling 1955. The Greek Dialects. The University of Chicago Press. Goodwin, William W. 1879. Greek Grammar. Macmillan Education. ISBN 0-89241-118-X. Threat, Leslie 1980. The Grammar of Attic Inscriptions. I. Phonology. Berlin, de Gruyter. Smith, Herbert Weir 1920. Greek Grammar. Harvard University Press. ISBN 0-674-36250-0. Topic further reading Allen, W. Sidney, 1987. Vox Graeca, The Pronunciation of Classical Greek, 3rd ed. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Bacher, Egbert J., ed. 2010. A Companion to the Ancient Greek Language. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. Christidis, Anastasios Foivos, ed. 2007. A History of Ancient Greek, From the Beginnings to Late Antiquity. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Colvin, Stephen C. 2007. A Historical Greek Reader, Mycenaean to the Koine. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Horrocks, Geoffrey, 2010. Greek, A History of the Language and Its Speakers. 2nd ed. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell. Palmer, Leonard R. 1980. The Greek Language. London, Faber and Faber. Theodorson, Sven Tage, 1974. The Phonemic System of the Attic Dialect 400-340 BC. Gothenburg, Sweden, Institute of Classical Studies, University of Gothenburg. Threat, Leslie, 1980-86. The Grammar of Attic Inscriptions. Two Vols. Berlin, de Gruyter. Topic. External links. English Attic Dictionary Woodhouse Perseus Digital Library Greek Word Study Tool Perseus A Greek Grammar for Colleges Smith Syntax of Classical Greek Gildersleeve Ancient Greek Tutorials provides Attic Greek audio recordings Classical Attic Greek Online